I think it was called Femme Fatale or something, a magazine, voted me sexiest sci-fi woman or something like that, and then put a picture of Batgirl on the cover. Now, I never understood that. I mean, if it's sexiest sci-fi, what about that green lady, you know? Tell me, tell me about that. What was it like? I mean, you were, that is one of the most famous Star Trek characters of all time. She is, except that there, there were two of us. There were two green ladies. The first one was uh, uh, Susan Oliver, and she was an Orion slave girl, and she was in the first season, and I think it was called The Cage, I think, but I'm not sure. Anyway, and she wore these raggy, awful-looking costumes. And I only know that because they made a, um, uh, an action figure of her because she had died and they didn't have to pay her licensing fees, so she's the green action figure. Anyway, um, by the time I got on it, 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 they couldn't remember what they used to make her green. And they cared that she should be the same shade of green. So it was just, it was dismal. It was, it was just unbelievable what we went through as far as makeup was concerned because they, they couldn't get it right. Um, it slipped off. I had big scrooch marks on my arm when people would would pull me and you know it would leave white tracks and then they'd have to stop and put the makeup back on and they sprayed it with liquid bandage and that held except you can't you can't do that to yourself for six days and it's a six day shoot you can't put liquid bandage on and take it off with acetone or you have no skin and no liver left and so it was just it was madness but the character was so much fun to do and the costume I have never stolen anything from any set ever. And there's a little voice that's saying, and that's a good thing. But then there's another little one that said, you fool, you should have stolen that costume. It was wonderful. <laughs> and it was. <laughs> the costume was just wonderful. It was it was cut very low. It was had no back to it at all. It was cut up really high on one one side. And um, and I had to dance in it and it never moved. And I had said to them, you know, I have to dance in this thing, and it just, you know, it can't move around. And the woman who um, uh, who constructed it had constructed costumes for the Folie Bergère. So, and all of those girls dance in practically nothing, and sometimes nothing. And um, and theirs didn't move either. It was all hinged. It was almost like a bridge, and it was hinged on a, a hook and eye that just tore up your neck because I mean it's the weight of your body pulling on this hook and eye pushing against your neck but it was gorgeous. Mm -hmm.